retired Senior Master Sergeant Dorothy May Tatum. Captain Candace Bowen of Bravo Company, 3rd of 116th. Vicki Kegley. Lieutenant Colonel Jennifer Martin. CW4 Dewana Gidway. Brigadier General Tony Lord. Sergeant Major Rhonda Williams. Dr. Mimi P. I was the first African-American female to join Virginia Air National Guard in 1973. Army and Air National Guard AGR Branch Chief. I'm the State Tuition Assistance Manager. We assuming the position of Deputy G1 in September. The Air Component Commander for the Virginia Air National Guard. I am the G4 Sergeant Major. My rank was a Colonel and a Flight Surgeon my entire career. And I am Virginia's first female infantry officer. My position as an equipment management specialist gave me the opportunity to, to travel, to organize, and to communicate with people. This has a great impact on me because I was able to, I'm a shy person, most of all, and this gave me a chance to talk to people all around the world and from Air Guard units, Air National Guard Bureau. I've held many positions uh, in my time in the Guard. Um, I think all of them have prepared me uh, leading up to this point. Uh, the one that has had the biggest impact on me is my time as an infantry platoon leader. Um, it humbled me, it challenged me, and it helped me grow as a leader. They offered me a number of really good slots, and one of them was being a clinic commander at an overseas base in Korea. And I was pretty junior, I really didn't want to be a clinic commander. I mean. To me, it was just going to be a lot of paperwork, administrative stuff. But I said, well, what do they fly? And they said, they fly at fours. <laughs> and I'm like, sign me up. I would have to say that confidence is a significant barrier for female leadership. Confidence of the female in herself and confidence of others in the female's abilities or capabilities. And especially for the female herself, I would say confidence that she will be a strong leader mentally, emotionally, and physically, confidence that she can balance work, family, and the guard, and especially and finally confidence that she can work outside of her comfort zone. Women must continue to break down the barriers of antiquated thinking through education and enlightenment. Many barriers have been broken to help women in leadership positions. But I also believe we need to take further steps to help women achieve more of their goals. There wasn't much of an effort from peers and leadership to encourage females to be successful in leadership position. As time progressed, there are now more opportunities for females to be successful in leadership positions. Now that there are female leaders out there, that they could seek mentorship, uh, support, and encouragement from. All you have to do is just ask. I never thought of myself as a trailblazer. I just thought of myself as a regular person. I am pleased to open the door for others to follow what I have accomplished. My goal wasn't to break the glass ceiling. I never considered myself a trailblazer. I needed to establish my credibility perform my job, and carry my weight. Knowledge, ability, and doing the right thing will lead to achieving the organizational goal and yours. Never stop learning, and you may break a glass ceiling. One day I hope to be the Command Chief Warrant Officer of the Virginia Army National Guard. If it's in, out there for me, if God presents that opportunity, I would love to do that job. If not, if I retire as a CW4, I'm good with that as well. Being a brigade commander, I think, would be an amazing um, adventure. I think it would be uh, a, a great opportunity to lead soldiers and really uh, impact uh, at, a, at, a, at a larger level. I'd like to accomplish building a larger pool of females, born officers, officers, and NCOs within the Virginia National Guard through recruiting retention efforts and by continuing to mentor and coach other females to overcome obstacles and challenges that prevent them from continuing to serve or considering to serve. I want you to know that you're not alone. Don't despair, don't be afraid, don't think, oh, I'm reaching beyond or maybe I'm not good enough or I haven't studied enough. Set goals for yourself. Don't let your past define you. Believe in grace greater than you and knowing your own intimate talents. 
Have a vision for your life and work the plan. Persist and persevere on your goals. No matter how difficult they may be, you can do it. I'm Major General Tim Williams, the Adjutant General of Virginia. It's great to be a part of Women's Equality Day and to help tell the story of the Virginia National Guard. So let's go back in time and think about this. 1942 and the creation of the Women's Army Corps and fast forward in history to where we are today, where women are key components of our combat formations. What we've accomplished in this period of time is truly remarkable and we have a long ways to go, there is no doubt. But we are on the right path. Think about where we are today. The fact that we've got women who are flying combat aircraft. We now have women in combat arms and more to come. And look at what we've accomplished really over that period of time. That includes our civilian employees within the Department of Military Affairs. The women in our formation, whether they're wearing uniforms or civilian clothes, have become key components to our mission success. Through our history, those women who came before us really blazed the trail to where we're going for the future. Please know, to succeed in the future, we need and must retain the very best women possible. Without them, we cannot achieve lethality and readiness. So again, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for all that you're going to do and being a part of our nation's National Guard, the Virginia National Guard.